Wiseguy. Can't stand Wiseguy. Okay. If I understand the premise of Gen Jennifer Slept Here, I better learn to pronounce it first. <laughs> if I understand the premise of Jennifer Slept Here, it is that you, Anne, play a ghost, a glamorous movie star, and that you, John, are the only person who really can communicate with her, or you see her, right? Yes. Okay. And I help him grow up. That's what it is. It's he has come of age, and I have taken it upon myself to help him grow up to be <laughs> his big sister, yes. so to speak. And I'm always getting in his hair, which I guess he doesn't like too often. But then, of course, he's getting in my hair because he and his family moved into an estate that I've I've lived in for 12 years, un unencumbered by the presence of people. So Are you actually filming on somebody's estate? No, no, no. no. We're filming in NBC. Yeah, we have two separate um, stages that we work on. The stage, all the sets that are within, you know, what you'll be seeing. And then also what we call a chroma key yes. set, ah, yes. <laughs> which is all blue. And technically, it's kind of interesting to work on that because you have there's there's nothing that you can really relate to there you literally are on something that's totally blue yeah and uh, it, it that that's what gets you those um, flying scenes and walking through door scenes and everything else it's very interesting that's the way they do it yeah. mm -hmm. you of course got such wonderful press and wonderful reviews for Mae West your portrayal of Mae West now has that been a tremendous boost to your career Undeniably, absolutely. It was wonderful because prior to that, of course, I had done a series and I think I guess I was categorized as one of the blondes of the year, which was fine. But um, that part gave me a chance to stretch and it gave me a chance to show some range. And I really enjoyed playing her too. I took her from 17 to 50 and uh, got to do a lot of things that I probably would not have gotten to do at a, in a half hour sitcom. You have a movie coming up too, Mr. Mom. Yes, that's coming out in July yeah. with uh, Michael Keaton and Terry Garr, Martin Moe and myself and uh, that's kind of interesting because it's kind of paralleling what what happened to me and my husband. Um, I, it's the, the husband no longer is working. He, he goes home and he's doing, he's the house husband and the wife goes out and she's the, um, she's the breadwinner. But I play a next door neighbor with red hair, short red hair. It, is your husband still a house husband? Yes, yes, see, and he does it better than I do. So, <laughs> so I really don't mind, but he does an awful lot of things. I mean, he, he's uh, very active in my career and he keeps the house because I'm usually on a set all the time. So th that's how it works out for us. We're really kind of a common sense type of a family. John, you and I share a good mutual friend, Sandy Duncan. Yes. You know, she's in yes. Texas. You know she's from yes. Texas. Yes. Yeah. And you were in Peter Pan. Yes. And I, I know I saw you, but I, I'll be honest with you, I don't remember which role you played. Well, when did you see it? I saw it shortly after it opened on No, well, York. you see, I, I took over the role of John. I flew. <laughs> I had the top hat and the glasses. I took over that role about six months before it closed because the other boy was too old. Did you enjoy? Oh, yeah. It was great. It was, a, it was really an experience. Fun to fly? Yeah. Scary? Yes. Well, the first time I flew, um, I was flying back and forth on stage, and you know, they do it very primitive with a rope on a wire, and my foot got caught in the rope. This was the first time I flew, and I hung upside down. So it was right before the, my opening performance. But getting back to Jennifer Slap here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to ask you one more question. And that you go to a performing arts school, don't yes, you? Yes, Creative and Performing Arts High School in Philadelphia, okay. where I'm from. Okay. Now, is that anything at all like what we see on Fame? Um, no. We, we talk about it a lot in school, about writing a script and submitting it called Unfame, because it's nothing like that. Well, tell us then, how is it well, different? Well, the first day, you know, I expected to go in there and see kids, you know, singing and dancing in the lunchroom, but yeah. uh, it didn't happen. And uh, during the first week, I was standing in line waiting to get a locker. 
and all of a sudden this guy comes by with drumsticks and he starts beating on the walls and then uh, this other guy whips out a guitar and starts playing and this girl starts singing and then these other girls start dancing it was really I mean it blew my mind but it was funny you know I didn't expect it and that was like the only time that anything has ever happened like that Okay, well, you, you write that script, and we'll all look forward to it. Meanwhile, we'll look forward to Jennifer Slept Here on NBC this fall. The best of luck to both of you and the rest of the cast. It sounds like it should be a fun show. It will be. Thank you very much. Thank you.